Hi, I just want to make a second video about the Hitler Principle, because I don't feel I covered everything in the first video. So, just to recap, the Hitler Principle is where a person in power or a group of people in having power and influence give people who don't have any recognition, don't have the love and acceptance that they need, they give them that which they need in exchange for loyalty. Okay? Now, having explained that in the previous video, I want to move on to different examples in the world where the Hitler principle might be working. I touched on MGTOW and feminism. If you notice, femi feminism only ever puts out things that are pro-women, only to pro whatever women want to hear, you know, about their lives. MGTOW does the same thing for men, okay? It gives out what they want to hear, things that they would, would be most likely would make them feel good and make them feel recognised and important, okay? So, as a Christian, we have to ask the question, did Jesus engage in the Hitler principle? And the answer to that question is no, he didn't. Because with Jesus, although he said things that got him loyalty, he also said things that got him disloyalty. Okay, Someone who is engaging in the Hitler principle will not say something that gives them disloyalty. They'll only ever say and put something forward which gives them loyalty. Okay, It's loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. That's what they're after. Okay, It's like that with, with feminism, MGTOW. Okay, and it's like that with Joel Osteen of the uh, Lakewood Church. If you notice, his sermons and everything are all to make people feel good. I feel important, I feel valued, I feel recognised. Now, these are all legitimate things. People need to feel these things, okay? And Joel Osteen, realising this, makes gets them to feel that, that way. Get, you know, speaks and, 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 and enables them to feel worth it, feel uh, special, feel uh, loved, okay? And as a result, Joel Austin gets all of the people in his church, his big following, his big cult following, okay? But the thing is, that isn't the way Jesus acted when he was on the earth. Jesus didn't tell everything what everybody wanted to hear, like Joel Austin does, okay? And as a result, his followings fluctuated throughout his time in Jerusalem, okay, and throughout um, Israel. The, the, he, he Sometimes he had a big following, and lots of crowds followed him, sometimes crowds deserted him. There was one point where he said, um, unless you eat my, drink my blood and eat my flesh, you are not worthy of me. And it said in the scripture, after that, many deserted him. Many, many of them couldn't accept that teaching. OK, so he, he never said everything to gain loyalty all the time. Like some, a lot of these prosperity preachers. OK, the true preacher will sometimes preach things that build up and, and give people acceptance. And, but sometimes they'll preach things that uh, 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 make a person feel uncomfortable and, um, you know, uh, convicted of sin and, and so on and so forth. So that's how you often know the false prophets from the true prophets. Are you just having your ears tickled when you go there? If you are, it may be you're becoming a victim of the Hitler principle, OK? Because Hitler told the German people what they wanted, what they needed to hear, what they wanted to hear, in the sense of to be able to build them up and be, make them strong. Uh, like a force again, like a German force again. Unfortunately, that meant that the German people were loyal to Hitler and they ended up following Hitler's orders to kill all these Jews and so on and so forth. So I just wanted to explain a little bit more about how the Hitler principle plays out in society. Anyway, thank you for watching.